Alrighty. Howdy neighbors and welcome back to the Crooked Man. Last time we found the Crooked Man, uh, killed him and then he came back. We met D, who sucks. And now I don't know what to do. We're just gonna wander and we're gonna see what we find. Oh, also the Crooked Man's here. Don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, he tried to kill us and then we said, I'm good. And it said, okay, but I re like really want to kill you. And we said, but please don't. And it said, okay, uh, I'll leave you with 10 HP. Franz Moore. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I did. Oh my god. Is it in like a trash bin? It's empty. David really just hates going in the restroom. Lefty is psychology though. I'm coming for you. use that one. And we found this one. I no longer. I need to find a quirk. How much do you want to bet he's in the basement? Locked. I don't 
the side, because I'm not open, so I don't want to open. And this place has been combed. What do I do now? I don't want to look at a guide. What do I do? What do I do? I have no keys. I have one cove that I can't even put in. A seminar for the reference room. My idea passed with like Andrew does. We don't have his ID. Seminar for the reference room. I need to like write down where things are. There's too many rooms. This place is too big for me. Criminal behavior, the psychological approach. Yes. I don't seem like to mention this. I don't say a word of it. 9981. Yes! 9981. Once I learned how to read, it was beautiful. Fuck now, whose room was it? I think it was this way. Room. Done. Next. Go on. Next. So many rooms. <laughs> As the first floor. Uh, this way. This janitor's room. That's it. So it's not that way. I, d I don't want to be wrong. <laughs> I, d I don't. I don't want to be wrong. Please don't let me piss this out of my pants. <laughs> God. There we go. Thank you. Don't turn on. Not 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 on. Nan. 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 No power. Beautiful. Grab this. I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna grab this. A cube full of crumpled paper. Andrew. Okay. Andrew is. 
One, four, four, two, four, six. And this time I actually have paper by me so I can write stuff down. Uh, we go now. Ew. <clears throat> Friends, faculty, and staff, thank you for coming today. I'm glad to have a sunny graduation to start off the rest of our lives. The future may be uncertain for some, but the persistence we learned here will make us resolute. A round of applause for my fellow graduates. None of the stupid whistles that people do. Wait. What? The laptop. But it wasn't on. However, as valedictorian, there's something I can't help but lament. It's about David Hoover. The fact that his last name is Hoover. He was highly skilled, kind to us all, and admired his pupils and teachers alike. We all expected he would be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed by none other than the man himself. I knew how to end this in face. He was fooling all his pupils and professors. Yes, gasp. Let me ask you all this. Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? The booze. Oh, I don't think so. He should forever be punished for what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. Why are we clapping about that? Stop it. Stop. You're the lowest of the low. His dreams will never come true. What are you even good for? Go off and die somewhere, coward. Die, 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 no, I'm not a coward. It just... Heidi. Heard a scream. That was you? Jeez, you're a freak. It was a big idea, huh? Did something happen? Forget it. So to solo you is nothing. Hey, dude, you okay? You're super pale. I'm kind of tired. I came a long way and haven't slept. Leave me alone. I can't bother to talk. Dots. Oh, D. Have this. Huh? I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. Seriously, I don't need this. I told you, leave me be. Drink it! Jeez. You look like you need food and a drink. And I'm being nice, so at least accept it, will you? Alright, thanks. But what's all this from a guy who's calling me a shady punk? What's that because you look like crap, dude? Come on. It's not like I'm heartless. I mean, I am trying to be a lawyer. Dots. Besides, maybe it's fate. I'll tell you what, I won't call you shady anymore. Now cheer up. You could be my client once I'm a lawyer. Heh, <laughs> that's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful at any rate. Say, have you seen anyone else, particularly man around my age? Huh? Nope, no one. He's here looking for? Yeah. I don't really know what he looks like. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. Don't anybody be around here, though. Oh, but can I ask you something, too? Professor Andrew. He always helped me out. His room's on the third floor, but it's got a number lock, so I can't get in. I was thinking the professor still might have some lecture notes for me around or something. But yeah, tell me if you get it open, okay? Alright, got it. I wander around some more, then. You look like hell, so don't push yourself. Yeah, well, do be careful, too. See any monsters, get away. Not this again. Yeah, yeah. Got enough to defend myself, anyhow. Smell ya. What are you, blue? Hmm. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Got an energy drink. Thank you. So 
So now when I'm about to die in the boss fight, I have a second win. Bep. This one. Six digits. It is... One... Four... Four... Two, four, six. Hey D, I got it open. Shells are empty, shells are empty, you're useless. Lots of books, lots of books. It looks like some sort of diary. Finally, done with the finals. I'm glad everyone got their appropriate grades. Of course, there's that lone D. I teach him so much, but he doesn't even get the basics. He's lagging behind everyone else, and yet he's so intent on being a lawyer. That nickname D stands for Dreamer. Appropriately, oh, apparently it was given to him for having such an impossible dream. But if you ask me, it's for the grade he'll always get. I hate how he fawns over me, too practically have to act nice to him, and he always comes for lessons after school. I wish I never let him in my class. I just hope he gives up on his dreams soon and finds another path. It's about D. It's awful that he'd say that to a student, though maybe D really is that bad. If D saw this, it'd be a big shock for him. He said he respected his professor, and always tried so hard. There, I tore the page out. I don't want D coming in and finding this. Page manager's diary. Now throw it in the bin. God, you're useless. D. Huh? End my fucking life. I was just still wandering around. He's looking for me since he couldn't kill me before. He got. Oh, I'm gonna have to persuade D to leave. It's way too dangerous here. I'll go look for him. Is he in the basement? D, are you in the basement? Door's unlocked. He is in the basement. I knew it. Bad feeling. The air feels kind of heavy. What even is this? Not yet. What am I what do I need to do? There's one thing I need to do first and I can't remember what it was. Ooh. D D was wrong. Get up. My head feel like crap. I mentioned it's a little hard to breathe. What's going on here? It's gas. Knew it. Huh? The floor's looking gas. I gotta get out. Got it. D, get up and lean on my shoulder. Ugh. He's here. Ugh. It's not gonna let us go. Put the gas to pour in. I'll be poisoned if I'm not quick. Hi, how you doing? Um, I'm gonna die here. Hope you're ready. An iron pipe. Box won't open. I don't care about the box. It's also empty, so this should be easy to move. Won't open. A breaker. Uh, uh fuck. Fuck, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, uh, you. Oh god, it's still going. I'm pipe. Do it. No. Crowbar. Do it. No. Yes. Crowbar. Do it. Back in the wall. Crowbar. I'm pipe. Do it.
I am running out of time. Maybe need some more. Uh, uh, ew. God damn it. I might... I was D at full health, but I'm like dying. Damn it. Yes! I'm gonna die right now. Dude, shut the fuck up. Give him. I forgot that that's where he was. <laughs> Here we go. I know what to do now. Put down pipe. Look at it first. Bum, bum, bum. Not good, needs more. Well, I got plenty of pipe left. You know what I mean. Not good, needs more. Now I have a whole minute. Open crowbar. Crowbar. Do it in the ceiling. Do it. Here we go. Managed to escape. D, are you okay? Get to the infirmary. Hang in there. Aw. Aw. Hi, D. You okay? You don't want to go to the hospital? What if you're poisoned? Thanks, Kinzo. Yeah, I'm fine. Head hurts like hell and I feel gross. But I'll get better. Thanks, man. I'd be screwed without you around. Are you my life? The water storage in the basement. And once I heard about it leaking gas, let me just remember that now. It was after I graduated, so I don't know for sure. But I think there's there was a dispute over the property. So the school moved and this got abandoned. I see. So you really shouldn't have come if you knew it was dangerous. Shut up. You just sort of forgot, okay? Man, to think this happened when I just came to relax. Should have just stayed at home studying. It's good to get a breather, sure. Just not in abandoned ruins, okay? There's really something, though. Are you still studying three whole years after you graduated? Well, I always wanted to be a lawyer, ever since I was a kid. No matter what, I will be a lawyer. So I keep studying. And I still do. And there's no change in my mind. There better be. I see. But you're awesome yourself, climbing the elevator while carrying me. You're buffer than you look. Oh well, I did go to flight school. Seriously, that's awesome. You really can't judge a book by its cover, huh? But anyways, I missed that and I can't go back. So I'm guessing that he said, uh, just shut up and go home. I know, I know. Well, the sludge refreshing, refreshing while it lasted. I'll just rest here in a little and go. You do that. I'll be going. I am so nervous that the paper is going to fall out of his pocket. No! Hey, hold on a sec. You dropped something. Here you- Wait, what? This is Professor Andrew's writing. Why do you have it? Hey, wait, don't read that. I knew it. Huh? Dreamer? The grade he'll always get? Hey. 
What's this about? How? What if the professor... D. This is... how he really felt. But he supported me. You said I'd be a lawyer someday. That's what you told me. D. Hey, D, calm down. Bye, D. That guy, he's in no condition. And the monster's bound to find him. I have to go after him. God damn it. There you go, thank goodness. I was new. At least that I wasn't a genius or anything. But why didn't they just say it? I respected Professor Andrew, because he always supported me. Sure, I'm kind of dumb. I've been teased constantly for it. I the damn test five times on failure. I'm not afraid to dream. I've always dreamt of being a lawyer, so I still study so hard. Why did it have to be like this? Everything I did for nothing? I don't know what to do anymore. I think I'm going to die to the crooked man, because every time there's a heartfelt thing, um, he shows up. D. It's life, isn't it? It's life, isn't it? I mean, you weren't cut out for it. Oh, fuck. Huh? Just looking at you kind of irritates me. Maybe it reminds me too much of myself. I need to wake up. Aren't there enough hopeless idealists in the world as it is? <laughs> you shut the hell up. Yeah, I'm stupid, but I just keep studying. If it's lacking in something or another, in your case, it was intelligence. <laughs> Jesus! God damn, you want a piece of me? In my case, it was my eyes. Huh? Since I was a kid, I wanted to be a pilot. I studied hard and made it to flight school. But I was colorblind. Oh no. I thought that that was like a thing that like you can't. Like, when it comes to like driving a car, even. Like, colorblind is not the way to do it. So, like, they check to see if you are. Strange, isn't it? The few colors you can't see, suddenly you have no right to fly. It seems obvious to me now, but back then I just couldn't accept it, so I faked my vision results to get into school. I spent three years playing innocent, even managed to be an honor student. Wow. But I was found out. The day of the pile exam, no less. That day I was reduced from an honor student to a filthy trader. I dropped out and now I'm just some nobody clerk. Dots. Jesus. I don't mind if you still want to be a lawyer, but I just want to say something. Don't trap yourself by narrowing the road. I 
Ain't it rough? Isn't it your childhood dream? Something was hard. Still is. But looking at you, I realized. It's not much. But I make my own money. I've got a girlfriend. I work with my buddy on weekends. And I enjoy my life for what it is. I didn't want to be... I didn't want to recognize I'd been set back. But I can't deny where I am now. Nor the work I put in back then. Are you happy with what you have now? Yeah. Though I didn't quite notice it. My life is how I choose it to be. So I shouldn't regret it. How about you? I won't give up because it was always my dream to be a lawyer. I see. I'll just... Just one more time. Try the bar exam. But if I fail, that's it. I made up my mind. I'll give up for good then. But that won't mean those three years were a waste. Right, David? That's exactly right, D. Yeah, of course. If there any point to staying here, let's go. I'll take you home if you want. Yeah, thanks. Uh-uh. David, what's up? Hello, hello. What? Hey, David. D, get out of school. Give him away. Got it. What the hell? No, let's go together. This guy's bad news. He chased me. Who knows how many miles. It's me this monster is after. I'll take care of it. Alright. Just won't die, will you? We'll finish you off this time. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. 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 I am going to die. Bye bye. Oh god. Ah, his rushes. I don't. I don't want it. Hold on. I. I t fuck. Where is it? Hi. Yay! Hi! Oh. Your dashes are a lot faster. <laughs> okay, I think that's... Good at this, guys. I don't think you guys know this, but I'm not very good at video games. Uh, fuck you. So hard. I'm about to die. Go. Go, go, go. There you are.
I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm getting him. I'm getting him. I'm getting him. Oh my god, how many hits is this gonna take? Uh, no, I'm dead. I'm dead. Every time he does that noise, it scares me. <laughs> You're so damn slow. You sure you're alright? No. <laughs> damn it, hang on, David. I'll come save you. Ugh. Settle me, dude. Okay, did you finish that thing off? Yeah, somehow. I don't think it's done for yet. I feel like it'll come back again. What do you mean? Again. Didn't I tell you? It followed me f all the way from a dozen hotel. Don't think it's over yet. I, I don't get it, dude. But are you going somewhere now? I like to, but I have no destination. The guy I'm looking for wasn't here. So I don't know where he could be. Well, he could find my beating heart wherever it is. Uh... Hey, hold on. I actually found this earlier. Any help? Got a paper with an address. Actually! I want to get out of this hellscape. So, no! Where did you find this? With Joe. Found in the basement. The paper looks pretty new, so I thought you just dropped it. Bliss of regret. And an address? Do you know what kind of place this is? No clue. But I think it's pretty far from here. It'd take about a day to drive. I think I'll check this out. So long. Hold on. You said you were looking for who exactly? And a dangerous driving around this late. Why do you want to meet him? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. Though I have sort of an excuse. Huh? One, it doesn't really matter why I want to meet him. It's just right now, it feels like I have to. I have to go. Okay. Well, alright, take care of yourself. Did you ask far? I'll take you there. Don't worry about it, I can handle myself fine. Okay, be careful then. Wait. We need to get some time. You wanna have a drink or something? Oh. <laughs> Thanks, D. Of course. I look forward to it. Scene two. The Julia Stone Law School. D. End. Dend. Was I sleeping in my car? In America, that's against the law. Hmm. Is it my phone? I was sound asleep. It was Shirley. She called me again. What you want this late? I mean, she'll call again tomorrow. I gotta go. What the hell was that park job? Hospital, huh? Must be abandoned. Or else it's got terrible upkeep. What's with him in these creepy places? Should I go in? Let's look at your park job real quick. This is like a nine point turn. Why would you do that? Go back in your car. Try again. Please don't be any bigger. Please don't be any bigger. It's gonna be massive. God damn it. The map of the in inpatient building. Oh my god, it has a map.
This is not going to bode well for me. That, that's what this is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take out my handy dandy cellular device and I'm going to go ahead and take a pick. There we go. But I'm just gonna wander and then I'm gonna find out where I'm gonna go. Not operational, elevator stuff of the fourth floor. Okay. Nursing station. An array of nurse call lights. Folks, look for the passcode. Uh. Some sort of equipment. A box that says lost and found on the top. Copy machine. These desks are di like you are in a hospital. Your desk dirty. Nothing aside. There's gonna be something aside. Nothing aside. Nothing aside. It's locked. What if there's something aside? It's just a block. You can't get up without a key. Bad flyers. Trash can. The outpatient clinic has a number lock. Paint it over. Paint it over. Paint it over. Cafeteria locked. Paint it over. Paint it over. Paint it over. Fourth floor. Lid. Hi. Oh, hi. I stack red writing on the bed, like the blood. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Them? Who's them? Joe. Paint it over, and paint it over. That was a waste of floor two. Here we go, floor three. God, paint it over, paint it over, paint it over. I know, Kenzo. Day room. Thank you. Dude, is that Coke or Pepsi? Hell yeah. Beverage dispenser. I'm a Pepsi person myself. I've been drinking a Pepsi while recording. Magazine rack. The latest one is ten years old. Doesn't mean you can't get a catch up. Come on now. If I could stop one heart from breaking, I shall not live in vain. If I could ease one life from aching, or cool one pain, or help a fainting robin unto his nest again, I shall not live in vain. Emily Elizabeth Dickinson. Thanks, Emily. Kitty? Oh. No. No, 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 kitty, no. Baby. Oh. <laughs> Were these his kittens? They could have a stomach. Who could have? I am so fucking sad. Poor thing, I can't look. Why would you do this? Like there's something in there. Take what's inside. Oh, sorry. Got a bloody key. I am so fucking sad. I am so sorry. Sweet babies. This third floor sucks. Hmm. Some kind of dry fluid, might be vomit. That's fun. Counseling room. Hi. What are you here? Who are you? A dirty bed. Who are you? from a notebook. 
I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always. Only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I could only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. It's his notebook. No doubt about it, he was, he was here. Still here now? Most likely not. He never is. Get it over. Locked. Get it over. Get it over. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get it over. Trunk is locked. Cool. Pay it over, pay it over, pay it over, and we're done here. Got a bloody key though. Could that work? On up here? Can't read the tag. Okay, so I need to find a place with water. Could I use the beverage dispenser? Is it like a restroom or something I can use? There's no restroom around here. Doesn't look like it anyway. Can I use the key to open this? God, I hate this room. He's a smoker. So most likely that room that I was just in, that's going to be the fight room. We want to go up against the crooked man again. Watch the passcode. All buttons push equals unlocked. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. How do we do these again? Gotta catch 
dirty over the trunky. Where's the cafeteria again? Is this one? Yeah. No, this is where we're gonna fight the crooked man. Empty cans. Here's one on the ground, something fell out. A small wire. Dirty teacup. Stand my cups. Dirty dishes. Stand my cups. Here's a trunky. Open that bitch up. A E D. Sorry, what is an AED again? I know I heard about it. Defibrillator. He has a little battery left. Because I was remembering, like, I heard it before, I just couldn't remember fully. What... Absolutely not. Hi. What are you doing here? Dots. Are your mom and dad not around? Did you come here alone? Dots. Um, are you mute perhaps? Mama said I'm not to talk to strangers. Ah, well, then I'll introduce myself. I'm David. I'm 26 years old, but I live kind of far away. My hobby is watching baseball, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, I like baseball too! Mama gave me a glove, so I play every Saturday. Whoa, I am jealous. What's your name, little guy? <laughs> this guy's <laughs> name is Fluffy. So we got Sissy, we got D, and we got Fluffy. Fluffy, that's your name? Yeah. Mama says my hair is fluffy like a towel. So fluffy. Spam caller calling me while I'm doing this. I see, where's your mama, Fluffy? I don't know. You don't know? Did you not come here with her? Um, well, we were gonna, we were going back home, and I was walking right by Mama, and she went to get something she forgot. I didn't want to wait outside, so I came in here to sing, but Mama hasn't come back. Oh, Mama said bye-bye. So you got lost. Is your house close to here? Um, my house is close to the school, but I can't see school from here, so I guess it's probably far. That's decent logic. Right. You really should have waited- oh. You really have something to have waited here all alone. Great. A kill off late at night. I think there's a sheriff's office nearby. Maybe I should take him there. Hey Fluffy, it's scary in the dark, isn't it? How about you go with me to Mr. Policeman? Dots. Okay, let's go. Nope. What's wrong, Fluffy? I'll have Mr. Policeman to show you a patrol car. Do you want to come along? I'm not scared of the dark. I'm a big boy. You're the scaredy cat, aren't you? Fluffy. Better give Chase a guess. Then again, maybe his mom will find him. I don't want to get questioned by the sheriff anyway. I'll take him to the sheriff if I see him again. You're gonna have to, buddy. Where's that way to go? Where's all the bloody key? Oh, and a wire. Small wire. Maybe I can use that for the locker.
talked about the wire. No, about a number lock. Yes. Four, four, eight, nine. Four, four, eight, nine. Sorry. Unlock battery operator. It's not working. So the battery must be dead. This is abandoned. Why don't I take the batteries out of this? Automated external defibrillator battery shows it's at about half charge. To get the battery. There you go. Four, four, eight, nine. Fuck, this place is a big staff room. Oh my god, so many things. Cabinet is locked. Fun. Not on desk. Key to the counseling room. Jesus fucking Christ. A hammer. Looks heavy. I won't be looking this round. If I find somebody to use it though. Don't know where this is, was not paying attention. So we do flowers. They seem to be artificial. There's nothing wrong with that. A few books here. The way the modern family, family of medicine, Joe and Mama. Wooden box. Six indentations on top. Diary probably written by the director. I received a puzzle box the other day. Rather an rather interesting thing to open it. You have to arrange the letter pieces to form a word. Of course, I made the keyword my favorite word. That irreplaceable thing which always makes me happy just to say it. In fact, I should show the box to my daughter. Unbelievable. When I showed my daughter the puzzle box, she hid all the pieces. What's inside isn't really something you use every day. It's not a huge deal. She actually gave me hints on where they are, but I can't find any. Maybe I will when I have time. I just got paper with hints. Lock safe. Trash can. It's in the vase. Piece of poison. Oh, it's this. Sorry, my bad. Tin paper. Yes. Flowers are nice. Wash your hands. Where do you have lunch? Give me a call. The nurses know. Get close to the sky. I hate that. Okay. Women's rest restroom lock is busted. Men's restroom lock is busted. Elevator won't open. The patient won't open. Open, 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 open. Chemical. Lights faded. Faded. Lock is busted. Fluffy, hi. Here you are, Fluffy. Don't you know not to wander off alone? I can handle the dark fine. I told you I'm a big boy. I'm not gonna cry like some baby. Wow. You sure do seem brave, Fluffy. I have to admire that. Really? <laughs> yeah, he's the bravest Captain America. I'm kind of scared walking around in the dark, but here I am looking for someone. If only there was someone I could depend on. Just my luck. <laughs> I do that with the students so much. <laughs> if only someone can show us how to behave. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. Whoa, really? Wow, what a relief. Thanks. I feel so much safer with you here, Fluffy. Hehe. <laughs> 
I'll protect you, Mr. David. We'll stick together until his mother shows up. If she doesn't, show us off as it is. Okay, now we have an annoying kid with us. Is that the soap? This thing doctors use. I want one. Can I have it? It's probably dirty. It's kind of dirty. You probably shouldn't. Medical equipment. Where's the stuff? I don't know either. Bye, Fluffy. Now we have someone. Hey, Benjamin. I measured myself the other day. I'm up to three feet. What about you, Mr. David? I think I'm around six feet. Really? That's unfortunate. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. How much HP? Oh, he still has a hundred. Why does he have a hundred too? He should be levels below me. Well, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Because we have a kid now. So thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you later.